All right, with some breaking news, new details on a deadly shooting that we've been following here throughout the day and throughout the week. Prosecutors claim Jermeryl Hubbard drove away from a murder scene in the same car he'd been arrested in. This comes as we investigate how Hubbard was able to walk free just days after that arrest. Good evening to you. I'm Bear Shalad May. And I'm Nick McGill in for Dan tonight. A probable cause affidavit we saw today says Brian Ward Jr. was ambushed after visiting his girlfriend's apartment on Plaza Drive. Witnesses described a car they saw driving away from the scene. Police say they tracked down Hubbard based on that car. Officers also say Hubbard told them he didn't even remember being arrested and released days before that crime, claiming he suffers from COVID-19 memory loss. We know he was released, though, on a relatively low bond, and Fox 59's Russ McQuaid is trying to figure out how that happened. On Saturday, the Marion County Prosecutor's Office filed a motion for a magistrate to keep Jer Merrill Hubbard in jail, but that plea came 24 hours too late and to the dismay of a state lawmaker. By the time Jer Merrill Hubbard is accused of committing murder Monday afternoon on Plaza Drive on the north side, he had already been out of jail for more than 72 hours after being arrested last Thursday on a misdemeanor gun charge. On January 20th, Hubbard pleaded guilty to a November marijuana charge and put on probation. Six days later, he was arrested for unlawfully carrying a handgun, a violation of his probation, and sent back to jail. But the next day, he was turned loose on a $150 bond for a misdemeanor gun charge. And three days later, detectives claim he committed a murder. Prosecutors knew Hubbard was a danger to reoffend. That's why on Saturday, the Marion County prosecutor amended Hubbard's charge to a level five felony and asked the magistrate to hold him for seven days. But the motion was denied because the magistrate found Hubbard was already freed on the original misdemeanor. The My Case system lists Hubbard's freedom the previous Friday as the result of the court's bars system. That's a schedule intended to allow bail commissioners to set low bonds for level six and misdemeanor offenses. State House lawmakers are debating a Senate resolution this session that would make significant changes to Indiana's current bail system, though not the bars system that automatically sets a low bond for low offenses to guide a bail commissioner. When we start talking about possession of a handgun, the illegal possession of a handgun, uh, a habitual offender, when we start talking about multiple pages of criminal history and then serious issues like a handgun that would kill someone, I, I, look, I, a judge has to make that decision. And it is my position that every single criminal defendant in Indiana should have uh, their case, their probable cause, charging information presented to a judge. Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.